Hello guys, welcome back to another episode on roadside mowing. We have some more mowing to do. I knocked out the majority of the mowing um to do uh there's still a tractor where you have to pick up and I bought a mower for the skid steer because we have um a big project coming up after we're done doing our roadside mowing. So yeah. That's really all I gotta say. So we're, we're just gonna drive the small little Kubota side by side, sidekick, and gonna drive it down here. Got my got my lunch. It's currently lunchtime. It's uh, I know it says 13:04, but lunchtime kind of just passed. But my boss is well thankfully giving me some more time to eat my lunch so there's still a lot of mowing we have left to do I thought I'd just come by here with the sidekick and just go down here so as you can see we've got a lot mowed now we've got all this over here mowed so I think right now I'm just gonna uh, just gonna unload. Oh, I didn't know that. You can unload and stuff. Well, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna eat my lunch. Oh, forgot. Gotta turn my engine off. I don't think I'm gonna just. gonna sit here and eat my lunch you know what might as well just sit here in the back and eat my lunch gotta need some waters okay we are done eating lunch I know we had very quick lunch like I already had the majority of my lunch eaten anyways so we're gonna get back in the Kubota and we're gonna get back to work Hold up. Alright. Lower the mower. Alright. I want to turn on the mower. Alright. Mow beside the road up here a little bit. So, there's still quite a lot of mowing left to do. But, I believe we can knock out the majority of this mowing. Boss has already talked about selling the mower that we're currently operating with already. And he's talked about maybe buying a, um... A, what, what do you call them? Oh, a John Deere Batwing mower. Because, I mean, the Batwing would just get stuff done a whole lot faster. And the Batwing is just a good mower overall. Th these, not saying that Coon isn't a bad mower. Coon is an absolute perfect mower. It's just, whenever you're out here mowing a lot of grass beside the road to keep it, you know, mowed down so it doesn't grow so high. You're gonna need something a little bit bigger than just some small thing that takes hours and hours of work. All right. I wish these trees didn't have a lot of limbs on them. That way I could see more. You know what, there is kind of a way to see better inside the cab. I kind of have to be like outside of the cab so I can see this. It's actually, I found out that there's actually quite a lot of land to mow. We actually have a road to go down. We have to like this whole road 
we have to go down and mow beside of the road. So, yeah. I was thinking about bringing the skid steer down here and mow around the trees because it's really hard with this long mower to mow around these trees. But, I mean, a eh, it still works. But it is very difficult. And plus, I don't want to put a dent in boss's uh, equipment. Because, like I said, you don't want to see him when he's angry. Um, his mood has changed a little bit today, so I'm kind of glad. Um, but anyways, boss has already talked about some very big major project <laughs> boss I'm so sorry I cannot talk today boss has already talked about some major products <sighs> products what am I talking about boss has already talked about some major projects that well actually seem pretty major like, I think one of them is, like, building a whole house development. Yeah, it's gonna be hard. We're gonna need, uh, some real construction equipment. Because what we're working with right now is just landscaping equipment. No, not landscaping equipment. That will need forestry equipment and uh, a little bit of construction equipment and a little bit of mowing and le let's just say pretty much a little bit of everything. I guess you could say. So. Yeah. It's really annoying when you're mowing with all these trees. But that should be one of our last trees to mow through. Yep. After I mow through these two trees, we only got one more tree to mow through. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mow around this tree just to get it knocked out of the way. So, yeah. Alright. Just have a little bit of mowing left to do, and guess what? After we get this mowing done, we have to go mow even more. I'm pretty sure one of the slots that, or one of like the areas we have to mow is almost as big as this little slot or plot we're mowing right now. So that that's going to be very long to mow. So yeah, honestly, I'm thinking about cutting down these trees. I mean, just how annoying these trees are. I'm going to cut them up just gonna cut them down, cut them up, get it over with, say goodbye to the trees, so I don't have to deal with them no more. But obviously, this is county owned land. We do not own this land. We just mow it for the county. So we can't just come down here and just cut down trees whenever we want. And we also just can't come down here and mow um, this grass beside the road whenever we want in the county obviously tells us when it needs to be mowed so that way there isn't I guess you could say like activity going on on county owned land and the county doesn't know about it so yeah we still have to have permission to mow we don't just mow whenever we feel like mowing or mow whenever we feel like the grass is high we have to wait till they say we can mow it All right, hold on, just gonna turn off mower. Hold on, all right, all right, take me to Google Maps. Thank you. 
Alright, let's see what Google Maps has to say. So... Let's see the land that we are mowing on. Okay, so a little bit of land over No. Land we do we do not own this land. Land about right here is where we can mow. Please don't take out a sign. That's good. Okay, now we can just cruise along the side of the road while we're mowing. Right, we have a little bit more grass to mow over here. And let's also check Google Maps again. Oh, oh. Okay. Uh huh. We've got quite a bit more land to mow than I expected. Like, we've actually got some more land to mow. So anyways, uh, there goes a sign. Um, Bosch is going to be mad, but you know what? Boss won't be mad, and he won't even find out about this if I just, you know, hide the evidence. Okay, that that was weird. I will admit that was weird. But I mean, hey, somebody will replace it, right? Somebody will replace it. Aren't they? Isn't, well, someone's got to replace it. It was a stop sign. Stop signs are very much important. Alright, and then the land. We have to mow. Yep, we gotta mow all this land. Uh, let's just. I know this is weird just seeing a Kubota at this little place, but we've, we've got. Tons of other stuff to do. Alright. Our first thing to do is to well back up in the shed, get the gooseneck, get the skid steer. Cause oh I thought I put a, the skid steer over there anyway. Alright. Alright. Honestly, we could probably, well, don't want to hit that wall. Alright, anyway, we could probably put our tractor on here. I'm not sure. Not sure. I mean, I, I, I would assume we could fit our tractor on here. Just, like, lift it up so our tractor can have room. I don't know. Anyways, we're just going to... Strap her down. She don't need a lot of straps on her. Alright, we're just gonna add an extra strap. Just in case, you know. Never know. Alright, so the trailer is folded. And we are going to... Take her down to the shop. To get... The... 
mower and possibly if we can fit and get the um tractor down here sorry it's just tested out my horn you know, I just just bought this thing haven't really had the time to use the horn yet I know that's weird You're like why are you using the horn it's just I've never I just bought this thing literally yesterday wait a minute We left the Kubota running. Oh my gosh. Big, big mistake. Big time mistake. Anyways, unfold trailer. It'd be nice whenever boss buys that bat wing mower. Cause I mean we're really gonna need it. Just gotta lift it up so I can see. I'm just gonna right and yeah we can fit this thing on here can't we I don't think so I don't I, I know I was like yeah yeah we sure we can fit this thing on here but I'm actually trying her never mind it honestly Fits right on. Oh, got to turn that off. And be right back, guys. Hmm. Anyways. Sorry about that, guys. Hey, Lucy. Sorry, I was just playing with my dog. I know you're like, well, you never show your dog. It's just, I don't know why I never show my dog. Like, I've never made a video. Like, all my videos are outside and gaming video. Like, if I'm not making a gaming video, then I'm making a vlog video outside. Or something. What are you doing, Lucy? What you doing, Lucy Goosey? That's my flag. What are you doing? Huh? Sorry, guys. Just she's she's a one-year-old Dotson. Oh my gosh! I was not paying attention, and I ran over a pedestrian too. Gosh. All right. So. We're setting a new task, and that task will be pay attention. Lucy, where are you going? Sorry. Sorry, that that's how I literally wrecked. All right, Lucy, how about, how about we get out? You want out? Come on. Come on. <sighs> Sorry about that, guys. There's been a lot of disturbance in this video. And there she goes, the barking. Why? And I hit a deer, too. Oh my gosh, first I probably put a big dent in my car. I don't even know if my tractor's still on the trailer. And I ran over a pedestrian. Alright. Oh, I forgot. We need to get into the Kubota. Wait, is there a way to, like, extend the arm or something? 
Oh. We've, we've got beacons on this thing. I was like, is there a way to extend the arm? Because, like, there's, like, this caution arm. And I was like, it'd be cool if, like, you could extend it. Because I don't, I don't know. It's just a caution arm. Most caution arms are, like, extended in America. So, I was just like, yeah, what if you could do that? Still got the beacons going, don't we? Might as well bring the sidekick up here. Wait. Yeah, I think we might as well go ahead and bring the sidekick up here. I was about to say, but anyways, I was about to say we should bring it down to the next site. And honestly, I think we've got even more stuff to mow, and it's not even next to the road, cause we own, we own this land right here. We own all this grass right here, and I don't know how we own it, but the land came with that grass. So, yeah. And I didn't even take the entrance or exit. It's an entrance and an exit. Anyways, yeah. I'm just going to park this over here with the skid steer. I don't know. It's like all the big stuff goes over there. All the small stuff goes over here. Let me just put it right here so that way I can still walk in anyways guys I think I'm gonna call this an episode and I will see you in the next one goodbye peace out have a wonderful rest of your day and I'm so sorry for a lot of the interruptions in today's video and I'll see you in the next one